What's up, y'all? Mike Atwater here, and I'm going to tell you all about the E-form bar chord, or the six-string root bar chord. One of them, actually. There's two six-string root bar chords, and that would be the G-form and the E-form. Today, we're going to talk just about the E-form, and we're going to play it uh, major and minor, okay? So if you're beginning bar chords, this is the perfect video to watch because I'm going to break it down as easy as possible, and we're going to play the whole form. Uh, in many different ways, all the partials, and just, you know, how to utilize it, how to play it all over the neck, and to know what you're playing when you play this bar chord on the seventh fret, the fifth fret, the third fret, okay? So the first thing you want to do is memorize all the notes on the sixth string, okay? The sixth string's E, okay? If you had to memorize all the notes on any two strings on the guitar, I would recommend definitely the fifth and sixth string because you can pretty much play octaves off of that and figure out uh, other notes on the neck, okay? So, the sixth string, memorize all the notes, okay? So starting with the E, okay? And to make this easy, we have 12 notes on the guitar. Um, and a B doesn't have a sharp and E doesn't have a sharp. So uh, if you could memorize, you know, make a, a saying like be easy or something. You know, B doesn't have a sharp, E doesn't have a sharp. Remember that, okay? So we're gonna start with E, open. That'll be an E. First fret is F, second fret is F sharp, third fret is G, fourth fret G sharp, fifth fret A, 6th fret A sharp, 7th fret B, 8th fret C, 9th fret C sharp, 10th D, 11th fret D sharp, and then back to the E on the 12th fret, okay? So we have sharps and flats on the guitar, but that, you know, it depends on uh, the progression you're playing and whatnot, whether it's a sharp and a flat, but just remember as or memorize them as sharps uh, for now. So uh, again, we have E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, uh, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And if I had to say it in flats, it would be E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat, okay? So for example, a G sharp can either be an A flat as well, or uh, an A sharp can be a B flat, you know? So it's sharper than A, um, uh, flatter than B, okay? So memorize all that, especially on the fret markers uh, as well, okay? Now, when you do that, you want to start practicing your E chord, your basic E chord with your second, third, and fourth finger, like you didn't have a first finger. Okay? So act like you don't have this finger anymore and play an E chord. And if you don't know the E chord, and you're just starting bar chords, just starting guitar or whatever, from the sixth to the first string, we have this, uh, the six strings open, and we got second fret, second fret, first fret, open, and open. And that's your E chord. And you're gonna do it without your index finger. And the reason being, because you're going to move that sucker up and then flatten your first finger on uh, the rest of the strings, and you have the E form bar chord. So start practicing that E form just like this. You can move it up the neck if you want to. But just getting used to that is very important, okay? The next thing you want to do is bar your first finger on the fifth fret or any, any fret pretty much, but let's just do the fifth fret for now and try to make sure that none of them notes are buzzing when you play all the strings. So here we go. Index finger on the fifth fret. Okay, that's gonna be the harder than the bar chord itself because the bar chord, you're really only barring the sixth string, the first and second string. 
these fingers are helping out here as well. But first finger on all the strings is, is kind of tough, okay? So, you know, practicing something tougher than the actual chord is going to help with the chord, okay? So, first finger on the fifth fret, I'm just playing every fret. Make sure it's not buzzing. And if you come across that, fix it. That in itself uh, is, uh, you know, a few chords, but uh, an A minor 11. Uh. Okay, and then we're going to take what we did down here, and we're going to add it to that. So all you do is put that E behind that first finger. It's kind of like you have a capo right here. Okay? So what I'm doing, again, we're practicing first finger bar every string on the fifth fret, playing each, each note, and if you come across buzzing like that, fix it. Once you get that, you're ready for the rest. All right, now again, second, third, and fourth finger on the E chord, I'm moving these fingers up to the seventh and sixth fret here, and then I'm gonna bar that first finger. And always play your bar chords just uh, one string at a time to make sure it's nice and pretty like that, okay? Now, wherever my first finger is on the sixth string, that's going to be the name of the chord. So if you memorized your uh, notes on the sixth string like you were supposed to, you know that fifth fret was A, okay? So I'm playing an A chord now with my E form. So this is an E form A chord, okay? See? Same sound, okay? Now if you move that chord up to the seventh fret, you got a B. You move it up to the uh, second fret, you got an F sharp. Move it up to the tenth fret, you got a D. And why is that? Because my first finger is on the D note. Okay, so if my first finger is on the fourth fret, which is a G sharp, and I play that chord there, I got a G sharp chord, G sharp major to be exact. Okay? Now it's very easy to make it minor. All you have to do is take your second finger off and make sure you're barring your first finger real good so you can get that third string, that minor. So if this is an A chord, take that second finger off, you got an A minor. A little bit harder because you're, you know, you're taking that off and now you got to add more pressure on that first finger. So major, practice first, and then get your minors. Okay, so let's see, let's, uh, what chord is this? My second finger's off. My first finger on the sixth string is a B. So that means I'm playing a B minor. I'm gonna put that second finger back on. It's a B chord. Okay? So remember, the most important thing is memorizing all the notes on your sixth string. Because wherever you're playing this chord, wherever that first finger is, that's what the chord's gonna be called. D. Major. G, G major. And another thing I like to do, so if you uh, have trouble memorizing all that stuff, you can take your tuner here and, it, and it'll, it'll help you. You know, you can quiz yourself. You can be like, all right, so the fifth fret, let's see, it's an A. Let's. Tuner says A. Uh, you know, eighth fret is a, a C. Tuner says C. Okay? So that tuner would help you do that. Even when you play the full chord, it should read C. One thing it won't read is minor. You notice that kind of confuses it, so that only works on major chords, okay? So, remember, take your second finger off, it's minor, A minor, G minor, just like an E minor. So you're just visualizing moving up that E minor and like capoing it with your first finger. 
So the next thing you want to do is practice those partials. So you know this chord very well, but you want to you want to practice pieces of it because sometimes when you play partials of a chord, it doesn't look like the chord anymore, like that full chord, so it can confuse you, okay? So like that. That almost looks like a C or something like that or an F at first glance, but that's an E form chord. So you want to take uh, three string sets on each of these chord, uh, or on this chord, and learn the partial of it. Only play what's necessary. So on a E form A chord, on the first, second, and third string, I have fifth, fifth, and sixth fret. So I'll only play that piece right there. On the second, third, and fourth string, I have fifth, sixth, and seventh fret. I'll only play that. Okay? And how about on the third, fourth, and fifth string? I have the sixth, seventh, and seventh fret. And that looks like an E chord down here. Okay? And then on top, you'll notice I have a power chord. Okay? And power chords are very important uh, when it comes to E-form bar chords because it's the top of it, okay? You notice, you get the power chords down good. You just lay that second finger down on the third string and then flatten your first finger. And you have an E-form bar chord. Or if you want to do minor, you start with a power chord, okay? And then lay that first finger down. All right, now a power chord is uh, a root and a five, which to make it easy, uh, first finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. I play those two together and I have an A5 chord, which is an A power chord. And on your E and A form bar chord, uh, that shape is there, okay, that power chord shape. You can add your pinky, it'll be an octave, but it's still a power chord. So from the sixth to the fourth string, I got five, seven, seven, okay? Wherever that first finger is, uh, whatever note it's on, that's what it's gonna be called. A note, A power chord. C note, C power chord. G note, G power chord. D note, D power chord. So get good at these power chords here, and then just lay the rest of your fingers down, like we talked about, and that's a good exercise to getting this E form clean, okay? Again, second, third, and fourth finger on uh, E chord. That's one way to practice it. The next way, flatten the first finger on the fifth fret of the sixth through first string. Try to play them without buzzing. And then combine that. But if you're not ready yet, just start with that power chord on top. And then try to lay down the rest. So again, we have a E form bar chord. I'm on the A note with my first finger, so it's an A chord. E form A chord. To make it minor, take that second finger off. And then practice your partials, pieces of that chord. Same thing with minor. Okay? So that's how you play your E form bar chords in minor and major, okay? My next video is gonna be A form in minor and major. So practice that and uh, keep up with these videos, subscribe, you're helping out the channel and helping out the school, and uh, keep up the good playing. All right, I'll see you on the next video.